doing a little brainstorming out in the garage tonight trying to figure out what exactly I'm going to use for my storage compartments on that side of the cabinet and this is actually the side that would be up against the wall of the van but I'm taking the picture from this side because the light is a little bit better they're gonna slide out that way when in use um, to get into these compartments I am going to have to have that rear seat either folded into the floor or flipped back into tailgate mode which is pretty nice anyways. I, uh, I think I have enough room if I go back to Walmart and get the uh, slightly smaller dish pan I might be able to stack three drawers on each side. I'm going to try and... That's my camp stove in that black container. It's a single burner butane. I'm sure uh, everybody has seen them before. Everybody's got them. I'm going to try and hide that up in that recess between those two slide outs. And then I will either be able to reach in from the outside by pushing the fridge out of the way and grabbing it, or from the inside I'll probably have to uh, pull out that, in this picture, the top right bin sitting there. This is my camp stove. It is a, it's a Coleman model. Uh, one of the reasons why I picked this one is because it has a... I don't know if you're going to be able to see that little spark in there, but it has electronic ignition and I don't have to use a lighter to get it to go so and it comes in this nice little uh, carry case I can keep one uh, bottle of butane stored in it and I got a uh, I'm gonna have room for a couple extras so I was on my way to Walmart and I remembered that I have to find a spot to put the Wii U or the Xbox or whatever system we're going to take with us on this trip. So I'm going to run with the four drawers and I'm going to run a shelf above them that will be, I don't know, three, four inches thick. I'm going to go inside and measure those two game consoles and see how, uh, how thick they are and make sure I have room for both of them. Alright, I've come up with a new plan to stack three containers or totes or dishwashing bowls on the right side with the bottom one sitting on the floor of the van and the two upper ones on a track to slide out. And then between that and the refrigerator on the floor of the van the stove is going to sit on the floor. Above the stove there will be a shelf and then above that will be the fourth tub. Alright, I cut four one inch thick and fourteen and a half inch long pieces of plywood to use as my slide guides for the tubs. First I'm going to cut the vertical portion of the partition wall to 17 and 3 quarter inch and I've set up my straight edge an inch and a quarter offset so that my blade will run right down that pencil line. Now I've set my table saw up to cut it to length the other way which is 17 and a quarter inches and the grain of the wood will be running vertically on this partition wall which I think will be stronger but I don't really know if it matters on plywood, but that's the way I'm installing it. There, I've got a test piece in there. I notched it out a half an inch on the bottom. I've got to flip the cabinet over and notch it a half an inch on this side. And then that uh, other piece that I cut will slide in between there and it can be glued into place. If it uh, doesn't fit as tight as I want it to. I'm going to shoot a couple of brad nails in there to toenail it, but I think it's going to be tight enough just with the glue. Alright, I've got the 
divider wall installed and I didn't even have to put glue on it. I had to hammer it into place with the rubber mallet so it's in there nice and tight. I don't think I'm going to glue it, at least not right now. Uh, I got to get the slats put on it for the drawers to slide in and out. That's my next step. Alright, there you can see the top slider track is in place and now I'm going to test fit the drawer and hope that all of my measuring was right. Alright, the drawer does fit in there. It's got just a little bit of side tension on it because I don't know if you can tell from this camera angle but there's just a little bit of a bow to this pan or drawer or whatever we're going to call it. It's actually a dish pan that I got at Walmart for like a dollar seventy-five each or something like that. So it has just a little bit of side tension as I push it in and I did that on purpose so that it would kind of stay in place. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to need to put any other type of retention on it or not. I was hoping that just the side pressure against the board would hold it in place and not let it fly out, but I guess we'll see once I get going down the road. Alright, and there's all three of them. The bottom tub is just going to sit on the floor of the van and that's why there's a little bit more gap on that one because I'm hoping that that extra little bit of gap will make it easier to pull the bottom one out without pulling the other two out. This one overlaps just a little bit, but I can still get it out just by lifting up that top one a little bit, and the top one comes out just fine. So I plan on keeping cooking stuff in one of them, and I honestly don't know what I'm going to keep in the other two. I could probably put my clothes in one and Bradley's clothes in the other one, and travel for a weekend. I mean that's big enough for an extra pair of jeans and t-shirt and underwear, socks, whatever we need for each of us. Uh, that might be what I do with it is the top one is for cooking, each of the other two, one for me, one for Bradley. I'm so shaky. That's why my videos are always so bouncy. I need to get a tripod. Here is a side shot of the drawers. So you can kind of see how the braces and everything are for the uh, slides. Alright, uh, not really a whole lot to say right now. Uh, I've got to work out that middle section and I'm kind of working my way towards the uh, refrigerator so I know what type of brace I need for the slide on the, on the inside part of the fridge. Uh, how thick it needs to be to to work with everything else. Uh, in that in that middle section, I'm going to have the cook stove on the bottom, and there'll be enough gap to where I can pull that out. And then above that, there will be a shelf for the uh, Xbox or the Wii U, or possibly even both, depending on what we want to take with us. Uh, and then above that will be the final bin which will be you know probably dry food. This camper is not really going to be a, a full-time van dwelling type of thing. I'm never going to attempt a full-time in it. It's going to be more of a weekender or uh, you know I plan on plugging in every couple of days when we are on the road. We're going to take a trip to the Black Hills next summer. That's the main reason why I'm building it. And it's also going to be used as a moto van for my dirt bike. And there's a scooter hiding behind that dirt bike that I'm going to sell and buy Bradley a four wheeler so we can go to places like Spider Lake or up on the Iron Range, um, down to Appleton. Or I'm in a motorcycle club called Glacial Lakes Motorcycle Club, and they've got, you know, the club owns an off road area uh, down in South Dakota. So we're going to be dragging this thing all over the place with. Uh, dirt bike and four-wheeler and uh, you know 
that's really the main reason why I'm building it. So it's about midnight or 12:30, something like that. I need to go to bed and get ready for work in the morning. <laughs>